interconversion of liquid into gaseous state and vice versa <coughs> now liquid can be converted into gases by just heating them similarly gases can be converted into liquid by cooling them for example if you want to convert water into steam then as you know we have to heat the water and again if you want to convert the steam into water then we have to cool the steam to convert steam into water now we have one experiment regarding this to study the change of state from water to steam the material will be required for this experiment are a 100 cc beaker a thermometer a glass stirrer a tripod stand a bunsen burner an iron stand and tap water now assemble the all the materials first of all take your beaker fill it with what water <coughs> now hang a thermometer with an iron stand and below the beaker place a bunsen burner place a stirrer for continuous mixing now start the burner and record the temperature you will notice that temperature of water rises till it starts boiling the temperature of boiling water is you know 100 degree centigrade or we can say 373 kelvin if we continue heating the water it changes into steam but the temperature remain constant that is 100 degree centigrade now there are some definition regarding this experiment number 1 boiling or vaporization here we have seen that by supplying heat water starts boil but what is the definition of boiling the process due to which a liquid changes into gaseous state a process due to which liquid changes into gaseous state by absorbing heat is known as boiling or vaporization now what is condensation or we can say liquefaction the reverse of the first process is condensation means conversion of gas into liquid by giving out of heat is known as condensation or liquefaction boiling point boiling point is the constant temperature at which a liquid is rapidly converted into gas by absorbing heat at one atmosphere pressure is known as boiling point of that liquid boiling point depends on the nature of liquid the we are taking the liquid the boiling point will be different now condensation point what is condensation point <coughs> it is just reverse of our boiling point means we can say the constant temperature at which a gas is converted into liquid by giving out of heat is known as condensation point this process is also occur at one atmosphere pressure all these quantities are performing at one atmosphere pressure when pressure is decreased or increased then your value also decrease or increase accordingly now we can explain this process 
when heat is supplied to water particles start moving faster at a certain temperature a point is reached when the particles have enough energy to break the forces of attraction between the particles at this temperature this liquid changing into gaseous state this is a liquid form and particles are arranging like this manner now as we supplying heat there will be vibration and increase in kinetic energy due to increase in kinetic energy intramolecular spaces will increase and forces will decrease and these particles will move far apart from each other and finally at their boiling point water starts boiling water or you can say any liquid starts boiling now latent heat of vaporization the amount of heat which is required to convert 1 kg liquid into gas is known as latent heat of vaporization latent heat of vaporization of water is 22.5 into 10 to the power 5 joule per kg particle and steam that's water vapor at 373 kelvin have more energy than water at the same temperature because steam has absorbed extra energy in the form of latent heat of vaporization so generally we are used to say that steam is more hot than water at same temperature now temperature time curve we can show the change of temperature with the time in the form of temperature time graph drawn by using the reading obtained in the above experiments such a time temperature graph is shown like this on x axis we are taking time of heating on y axis we will take temperature in degrees centigrade first we start our experiment with 0 degrees centigrade now when you starts the giving the heat to the eyes there will be no rise of temperature because all heat is going to convert the phase now at point b temperature starts rising now at this point we can say that all ice is converted into liquid form then again after that point suppose this point is c again temperature remain constant when we are supplying heat now again at point d temperature start rising because at this temperature all the water has been converted into steam so this is our time temperature curve now direct interconversion of solid into gaseous state solid into gas or gas into solid means we are directing converting the solid into gas without an intermediate phase or liquid phase this is known as sublimation means the changing of solid directly into vapors on heating and of vapors directly into solid on cooling is known as sublimation now we have sublime and sublimate the solid which undergoes sublimation to form vapor is called sublimate so it's sublime and the solid obtained by cooling the vapors of a solid is called sublimate for example ammonium chloride iodine camphor are the sublimate compound in this case we can show a graph all the process so far we have done we can show in this triangle if liquid converted into gas then it is known as vaporization if a gas is converted into liquid then it's known as condensation if a gas is converted into solid or solid is converted into gas then it is known as sublimation and if a liquid converted into solid then it is known as freezing or a solid is converted into liquid then it is known as melting the specific heat of a substance is the 
amount of heat which is required to raise the temperature of a unit mass of the substance by 1 degree centigrade. Now if we measure the heat in joule and mass in kg then the definition of a specific heat becomes the specific heat of a substance is the amount of heat in joules required to raise the temperature of 1 kg of the substance by 1 degree centigrade. A specific heat of a substance is usually represented by a symbol capital C. The specific heat of a substance varies slightly with temperature. The change in specific heat of a substance with temperature is due to the changes which occur in the structure and organization of the molecules in a substance with change in temperature. Now unit of specific heat. The unit of specific heat depends upon the unit at which heat and mass are measured. If we are measuring heat in joule and mass in kg then unit will be joule per kg per degree centigrade or we can write in short term joule per kg degree centigrade. Next one is effect of change of pressure on the state of matter. So far we have discussed about the effect of change of temperature on the state of matter. Now we have to change the pressure and by changing the pressure can we change the state into one another or not. So we will see that. The difference in various state of matter is due to the different intermolecular spaces between their particles. So when a gas is compressed the intermolecular space between its particles decrease and ultimately it will be converted into liquid. For example, we are taking two cylinders and fill the dead cylinder with a gas. Now we know that gas occupies the volume of container and the particle will be far apart and they will move here and there. Now we will take same volume of gas in a another container and place a piston above that cylinder. Now on applying the pressure the volume of gas <coughs> decrease and after some time the situation comes that the gas is converted into liquid form. The pressure and temperature determine the state of substance so high pressure and low temperature can liquefy the gas. So if we want to liquefy the gas we require high pressure low temperature. If carbon dioxide is under normal condition of temperature and pressure is a gas. It can be liquefied by compressing up to a 70 time pressure than atmospheric pressure. Then we get solid CO2 that also known as dry ice because it looks like ice but it's dry. It doesn't wet your hand. It's also known as dry cold and is used to deep freeze foods and to keep ice cream cold. Now what are the unit of pressure? Generally we measure the pressure in atmosphere and the SI unit of pressure is Pascal denoted by Pa and one atmosphere equal to 1.01 into 
टेन एस टू पावर फाइव पास्कर वेन प्रेशर इज लोअर द बॉइलिंग पॉइंट ऑफ ए लिक्विड इज लोअर दिस हेल्प इन रेपिड चेंज ऑफ लिक्विड इन टू गैस एंड वेन वी इंक्रीज द प्रेशर और बॉइलिंग पॉइंट ऑल्सो इंक्रीज एज यू सी इन प्रेशर कुकर नाउ एवेपोरेशन द फिनोम ऑफ ए चेंज ऑफ ए लिक्विड इन टू वेपर्स एट एनी टेम्परेचर बिलो इट्स बॉइलिंग पॉइंट इज कॉल्ड एवेपोरेशन मीन्स हियर लिक्विड इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू वेपर्स बट वी आर नॉट सप्लाइंग हीट हियर दिस प्रोसेस नॉन एज एवेपोरेशन like drying of clothes in sun is also due to evaporation water changes into vapors below 100 degree centigrade the particles of matters are always moving and are never at rest at a given temperature in any gas liquid or solid there are particles with different kinetic energy in case of liquid a small fraction of particles at the surface have higher kinetic energy than the lower particles and they always tend to move from the surface and finally they comes out and the process known as evaporation now the factors affecting the evaporation what are all the factor factors that are affecting evaporation number 1 temperature it is obvious that as we increase the temperature evaporation will increase so we can say evaporation is directly proportional to temperature because as we increase the temperature kinetic energy also increase and if kinetic energy increase molecules tends to come out from the container and evaporation rate of evaporation will be increases second factor is surface area <coughs> evaporation is directly proportional to surface area as if you increase the surface area then evaporation also increase as whenever you dry the clothes in sun then you spread out them why because you are increasing surface area by increasing surface area evaporation increases and your clothes will dry very soon now third point is humidity of air the rate of evaporation is inversely proportional to humidity why this is so suppose there is a container filled with water now as the vapors go out it should replace the vapors of atmosphere but if humidity is always there if humidity is there then it cannot replace that humidity and the rate of evaporation will decreases we see example of that phenomenon generally we use desert cooler in sunny areas but they cannot be used in coastal area because there is humidity is higher and evaporation will be lower so it cannot give a cooling effect so you cannot use desert cooler in the coastal areas now next one is wind speed it also helps in evaporation means evaporation is directly proportional to wind speed why this is so this is also very simple as the vapors are formed as the vapors are formed above the container then wind speed blows that and again there makes a space for formation of new vapors so as the wind speed increases evaporation increases for example we dry our clothes below fan because fan blows out the vapors and there are new spaces for the vapors so evaporation will increase when we increasing wind speed 
नेक्स्ट वन इज नेचर ऑफ सब्सटेंस वी जनरली से देट देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ सब्सटेंसेस वन वॉलेटाइल एंड सेकेंड वन लेस वॉलेटाइल द सब्सटेंसेस विच इजीली इवेपरेटेड आर नोन एज वॉलेटाइल सब्सटेंसेस एंड द सब्सटेंसेस विच आर लेस इवेपरेशन हेल्प टेंड्स टू लेस इवेपरेशन आर नोन एज लेस वॉलेटाइल सब्सटेंस फॉर एग्जाम्पल एल्कोहोल इथर एक्सेक्ट्रा आर वॉलेटाइल सब्सटेंस एंड दे हैव लेस बॉइलिंग पॉइंट एज कंपेयर टू वॉटर सो देर एवोपरेशन विल बी हायर सो वी कैन से द सब्सटेंसेस विच हैव लेस बॉइलिंग पॉइंट देन अनादर विल टेंड्स टू एवोपरेट मोर इजीली नाउ डिफरेंस बिटवीन एवोपरेशन एंड बॉइलिंग we can prepare a table one side evaporation and another side boiling as you know evaporation is a surface phenomena as only surface particles tends to move and get vaporized below its boiling point and boiling point is a bulk phenomena means hold the liquid will converted into steam at once and there will this is not a surface phenomena second one is that it occurs at all temperature below boiling point but boiling will always occur at boiling point third one is that the rate of evaporation depends upon the surface area of liquid temperature and wind speed but boiling point remain constant it does not depend on these factors these are the main differences between evaporation and boiling cooling caused by evaporation the cooling caused by evaporation is based on the fact that when a liquid evaporates it draws the latent heat of vaporization from anything which it touch for example when you take some amount of spirit in your palm then you feel that your palm is cool down why this is so because as you take the spirit on your palm spirits take out the heat from your hand which is known as latent heat of fusion and this spirit is converted into vapors and you feel cold second one perspiration or sweating perspiration or sweating is our body's method of maintaining a constant temperature when our body temperature rises then we sweating more and more and our body try cools now we wear cotton clothes in summer why this is so during summer eh, we perspire more because of the mechanism of our body which keeps us cool during evaporation the particles at the surface of liquid gain energy from surrounding or body surface the heat energy equal to latent heat of vaporization is absorbed from the body leaving the body cool cotton being a good absorber of water helps us in absorbing the sweat so if we use cotton clothes in summer then our body will sweat more and more and it helps to lower our temperature of body now water droplets on the outer surface of a glass containing ice or cold many times we see that when we fill the glass with cold water or ice then we see that there are some water outside the wall of glass why this is so and from where this water comes out is the water comes out from the walls of glass 
or from atmosphere. <coughs> the water vapors present in the air on coming in contact with glass of cold water lose energy. So water vapors get converted into liquid state which we see as the water droplets. We know that atmosphere also contain water vapors and they get condensed when they come in contact with cooled wall of a glass.